one of my favorite activities. In fact, I do it almost every night when citrus is coming in and peeling an orange. My name is Richard Skinner and I'm the owner of Hawkins Corner Nursery in Plant City, Florida. If you'll notice, I have sort of a technique with it, take the peel off. I have a sense after doing it for many years of how far to go without getting into the actual orange part. And as you see, I just picked this orange so that a little smoke comes up. And that's the peel oil as it's coming away. Now when a, tree, a piece of fruit's been off the tree for three or four days, you won't have that because the peel oil will have evaporated. My technique is my own. It sort of developed over a period of 40 plus years of peeling oranges. And you have to be real tender. And you see right there, I didn't quite get into the membrane, but I almost did. And that's because the skin's pretty thin. Well, as you can see, I just about got all of this peel off. And we're gonna get to the next part of it. Now, I know some of you ruffians will just peel away and not care. Well, that's fine if you want to do it that way, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to save every bit of the orange that I possibly can. Okay, I got all of the skin off. Toss that down. Now then, we'll start the little part that I developed as my technique. And as you can see, the pup comes loose pretty easy. Now, if you've got a California orange, the chances are you can peel it a whole lot easier than you can peel a Florida orange. Why? Well, California orange doesn't have as much juice in it because it's more arid climate. Florida has a pretty humid climate, and of course, the oranges have a lot of juice in them. So even a navel, which is what I'm peeling right now, red navel in fact, uh, it is a juicy piece of fruit. And just in a second, I will have all of this pup off and then I cut my orange in half and as you can see the juice is dripping all over me put that part down and the next procedure and I usually do this over a bowl so I don't make such a mess is to cut out make a quarter cut the tip off the end and if there's any seed or anything in the middle take that off and then if I cut that right in half I got a bite. Mm, that's good. Richard Skinner, this is Hawkins Corner Nursery, Plant City, Florida. Thank you.